you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, many people don't know this, and I, I, I'm putting together, I don't know whether it's a book or it's a documentary, but it's coming, I'm putting together writings I have on a few people in this country, and I call them the three most captivating people I have met. This is not on anybody's list. This is KSM in 60 years of life, by the way. Show me some love, man. <laughs> in 60 years of life, Mahubi. And there are some three people that have absolutely captivated me. And I'm so happy, so honored to have one in the house today. You know him. You don't know that you know him, but you do. Put your hands together. Show some love for the great attorney. It's Ankuma. <laughs> Yes. I, I, I was instructed by your back office that I should be careful about your wrist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, in, a, it's in a comfortable list. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a comfortable list. Okay. Okay. Going through. So let's, let's try it again. Uh, yeah. Boom. There we go. Careful. Care you don't want to break his wrist. Also. This is in the house. <laughs> We're going to go for a commercial break when we come back. How about you day? We'll be right back. Don't move, don't blink, don't breathe. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show. Hey, welcome to the show, man. It's good to have you here, man. Thank you. Man, I don't know what to start, man. What's what Oh. <laughs> you know, I had, I had my team put together a little bit of research on, on Ace, you know, and they came and they were stunned. Then I said, why do you think he's one of the most captivating people I've met? And I, and I kid you not, too. I'm not saying this because you're here. And you're not having now, why not be? If you don't crawl for no more bone. Definitely. Love Talk to me. Yeah. Love But you've done well, man. I mean, uh, I, I think there was some time, I think, I heard you one point speaking and you said you always wanted to be a damn good lawyer. <laughs> I heard you say that from your own mouth. Yes. You wanted to be a damn good lawyer. And you are. Mm. I mean, even saying you're a damn good lawyer, honestly, is... is it's an underestimation. Uh, have you, have I, you I, I, are you going to ask me a favor after this? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay. no, 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 but seriously, seriously, you know, very, very impressive. Yeah. What your peers say about you, what yeah. I read about you, hey. and uh, the level of respect that you command. How, how come they don't tell me? They don't tell you what they tell me. No, you see, I need to hear so I can, so I can, so I can, so I can uh, brag to my children. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope to, your children to, are watching. To, to, to them, to them, I'm just daddy. That's the thing, oh. But I'm sure, I'm sure they know. They know that they have a dad. On any part one. On any part one. As they say, at light, I was messy. <laughs> you were teaching once uh, Islamic education at Nima School. Can yes. Tell me a little bit about that. I, I, read. Was, I was 17 or 18 out of A-level, and we had to do national service. And I was posted to the Islamic, educa Islamic education program. Mm. And so I used to go to work at Nima. Nima 441, to teach in an Islamic school, Makaranta. The mm. name of the school was Usamat Bun Zaid. Mm. And this was a scheme to introduce math and English to kids who are in Islamic schools who learned nothing but Arab, Ar Arabic, the Arab Arabic language and the Quran. So I went in straight to teach people who had not spoken a word of English in their lives. Mm. And I spent a year, and I think it was one of the most fulfilling uh, periods in wow. my life, you wow. know, I was, as a teenager then, and I was teaching these kids. And that I was, was your national service? That was my national service, before I pre-investing pre national service. And before I could leave, these kids could write sentences. They could, I mean, I, I always remember that we went from learning one, two, three to long division. Wow. You know, by the wow. time I was leaving. And it showed the immense potential that we have as a people, which sometimes remains untapped. Mm. I don't know where those mm. kids are. Maybe mm. they continued on. Maybe they did not. Mm. But they, they gave me one of the most fulfilling years in my life mm. ever. Mm. And that was one year of teaching. But, but the secret was that, you see, I only work three days a week. They don't go to school on Thursdays and Fridays. I, oh. was, I also don't go to work on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> so so you have the, the week, the week and Saturday and Wednesday. Four, four days out of the week, <laughs> I was at home. Three days I taught. But I taught, it was immensely fulfilling. Wow. Apart from the fact that the mothers would bring me house of cocoa in the morning and, and, and watch in the evening. That was mm. the added benefit. Those are the added benefits. Added benefits of constantly house of cocoa and, and watch it. Teacher, teacher really had... You know, so are uh, you teaching math and English? Math and English. Math and English. Um, basically, yes. Basically, from A, B, C, D to sentences, and from one, two, three, four to long division. Mm -hmm. We just we just went through it weekly, weekly. And these kids, 
now could could make sentences we're doing um b a bar c a car d a da you mm, know and mm, basically mm. what yeah, it, 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 I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed wow, it. Sometimes wow. I wish I could go back and look for them, but uh, yeah. it's been so many years. This is yeah. 1986, 87. Okay, okay. Well, if there are any of you watching who remember him, <laughs> get in touch with me. We have to do some linkages here. <laughs> but, but, so, um, law. I mean, your passion for law started when? As a kid. And um, there was a gentleman who lived next door. He's still I believe he's still alive, Lawyer Carson. Um, my dad worked at railways in Takradi at the time. We lived at number 11 Windy Ridge. He lived at number 10. Um, apart from my father, he had the prettiest daughters on earth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was a railway lawyer. And you could, you, I admired him from a distance. Then my dad had another friend who was a more outgoing character, who was also a lawyer. <laughs> he was chief of the Sioso uh, lawyer SL. So I looked at these two gentlemen and said, wow. Wow. I mean, I was a kid then, but the swag, the confidence, you know, the whole thing, the whole thing about well, that. the fact that they were lawyers or you had seen them practice well, or well, never just seen the them law. Practice, but when they, when they come home, the way they talk, I mean, my dad was quite a good argue, debater, right? Okay. Uh, you can guess where the sort of I, I guess from. the this apple is natural. doesn't fall too far from the... Well, the whole <laughs> thing about apples and trees and the force of gravity, oh, you, know, you, know, you know the works. And, but, I mean, like, Excel could match him. I was like, oh, wow, somebody can argue you wow. know, with my dad. Wow. And so I, I admired lawyer Isel very much. In fact, I was in school with his kids, and we are still very good friends um, the, the, and stuff like that. So I, you know, started from there. But this was interesting. At the time, I had a terrible stammer. I was, I, I was stuttering. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't barely speak. Really? And this was a guy who was stammering, hoping to be a lawyer. But along the line, I mean, after A-levels, when my results came in and I'm qualified, my dad then said, you know, he's not too sure about this law thing. Um, he was, the, he was an academician at the time. He said, look, why don't you take a course in sociology? In five, six years, you have your PhD, you settle in the university. So, but then soon after that, he died. And so when it was decision time, it was me taking the decision. Wow. So I said, oh, you know what? I'll do the teaching for you, but I'll still be a lawyer. That was five years of, of mm -hmm. hard labor. Mm -hmm. and, and you did extremely well in law school, I suppose. I... Well, hey, yeah, you just write your exams and pass. I, I enjoyed it. It was a, it was a discovery. The re, I loved the reading. Mm -hmm. I loved the challenge. I loved the memorization of the cases. The cases were nice to memorize. I loved, I loved courses which had a lot of precedents, like torts, you know, as compared to those which were st more statute-based. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think I, I, I enjoyed school. Mm -hmm. I must be honest mm -hmm. that I absolutely enjoyed law school. The first, weeks were, the first few weeks were traumatic. In fact, I developed a headache. Um, because I was, I, was, I was a bit lost. Um, some of my mates who had done government were, you know, seemed to know their way about, and mm, I was... Mm, so, mm, and mm. I had these recurrent headaches, and I went to see the doctor. He's dead now, Dr. Anipari, and he gave me some pink tablets to take. Later on, he told me that they were not tablets at all. They just gave me anything to take. Because oh, he really? Was, I was just... just <laughs> 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 I want to go to the procedures. Yeah, he just gave me something to take. And, I, and it I, worked. It worked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it worked. <laughs> but but I, I, once I got into it, I, I, had, I had fun. I enjoyed mm, it, and mm, so graduated... Mm went through law school proper, graduated, went back to Legon to teach as a national, um, to do national service for a year. Mm -hmm. That must have been between 90, 92 and 93. And then I went out to do grad work from 93 to 94. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been to school again. Maybe. <laughs> You're practicing. <laughs> I've been practicing. And you are described as an exceptional and very diligent in litigation. And, and the comments about you that I, that I come across are, so amazing is Ankuma took over as managing partner and has a reputation as one of the foremost lit litigators in the country. Sources comment that he's vibrant and very articulate and an outstanding lawyer uh, who likes to advance the chaos of I, law. I, I think I know where that comes from. <laughs> that, must be, that must be Chambers. You know? Chambers. So, so no, basically... No, no, Chambers does, Chambers does a worldwide ranking yeah, of lawyers. It's worldwide you know, ranking. worldwide ranking of lawyers. And they interview your, your competitors and then quote them, etc., etc. So as you can imagine, I also say a lot of nice things about my competitors. So this is just my competitors. But <laughs> nice. I also say nice things about them. No, nobody's ever dissed in Chambers. I mean, just for the record. So this is my competitors. This one will be your way. Trust him, we'll shout I knew he would find a way to counter him by telling You go and research him. You'll see but <laughs> I tried it myself. I was embarrassed. I didn't know my name. I was like, ooh, not all of this is real. You were teaching true. assistant for Professor Mills back then? Yes, I, I was teaching assistant for a number of professors. Uh, Professor Mills, Professor Mensa Bonsu, 
-hmm. Professor Kumado, and Kunya here, uh, Kunya here, Professor Kunya in, yeah. in criminal law as well. And um, uh, and in criminal law, Justice Afre, the late Justice Afre, mm -hmm. he wasn't a judge at the time, but mm -hmm. he later became a judge. He died as a justice of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So I, I had nothing else to do with my time. So I was doing more subjects than I was required to do at the university as a TA. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Prof. Mills was commercial law, but, but more in his, in his um, School of Admin Commercial Law class, and I think the faculty as well. Mm -hmm. And then Pro mm -hmm. uh, I assisted Professor Kumado in tort, and Professor Skwenye here, um, Nensa Bonsu, and Justice Afre in criminal law. Okay. okay, but just okay. for a year. Yeah, and then I went to school, and came back hoping to teach. And I should look for that letter. It's still somewhere. I applied to teach, and I got a very nice letter from the university saying, "Well, we've seen your current salary. What you'll be receiving in this university is a quarter of what you are <laughs> earning right now. Just know that you may not be allowed to still practice as a lawyer. Kindly let us know if you still want to take this appointment up. If where's that effect? They said, "Okay, you're going to become an university lecturer. Yeah, you are going to be half broke. Yeah, now." Tell us whether you whether want to you still want to. Whether I still want to. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't reply. <laughs> <laughs> it was obvious. <laughs> I come in, got married. There was a baby coming along. Mm -hmm. This wasn't the time to take a three-quarter salary cut. You know? You know? <laughs> so I, I, I stayed in private practice till must have been 96 when Prof. Mills became vice president. Mm -hmm. And he, so he was winding down. And I believe that it was, I understand it was his recommendation. So I, was, I got a call on the phone to say, I okay, see. you didn't come back, but you want to do part-time? I said, why not? So I went back and taught commercial law at the School of Adam, now business school, for, I believe, seven years. Mm -hmm. And then one day, I just quit. I just decided I'd had enough. That's enough. That's it. And I didn't go back. <laughs> I didn't have to give any notice. This was the investment. It was a one-year ruling contract. And they never really renewed the contract. Every year, I'll just go and teach and they'll, they'll pay me. So one year, at the end of the, at the, end of, at the long back, I said, I'm not going back. And I That's didn't go it. back. And I stayed, I did, so I did private practice for a couple of years. Then there was this thing about become a judge. I said, no, I, I don't want to be. So one day they called me and said, look, you, you got to help. So come to a law school and help teach. So I went to a law school, taught uh, civil procedure, I believe for another five or six mm. years. And one day in five minutes, I quit. You said? I'd had enough. <laughs> and that was it. So now I've been, I've been pulled back again to teach writing, legal writing. Mm -hmm. Legal writing and editing and skills. And editing, yeah. But editing skills. But that's a... Uh, that's, that's more like a seminar. So now there are three campuses. I do six hours per campus, and mm, that's it. I, mm, that's all I can afford mm, right now. So, mm. yeah, there's always been some teaching mm. in my life. Yeah. But, but you're a managing partner as well for Betsy China. Yeah, I, it's a firm I joined straight from school. I'm so you boring. went in as an associate? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, and I rose to that. managing I, partner? I went in as a proofreader or something. As a proofreader? Yeah, I, I, I'm boring. I am very unexciting. I, <laughs> I, I've done the same job. I, I think I've only attended one or two job interviews my entire life. Wow. So I've been working at the same place. Others have come and left. I just stayed. So maybe just... Uh, 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 but, but from a proofreader to managing partner, yeah. it's very, very... Well, yeah, proofreader. And then I became, an, I believe, an associate when I came back. Yeah. And then rose to become senior associate and then partner and then managing partner. So I kind of just stayed. Yeah. That, because I, maybe, maybe I'm a coward. I, I'm afraid to change jobs. Really? Like, no, you my, do well, so you do well, and, and so it's like, if my, my you didn't broke it, don't fix it. We, we, we hardly ever change jobs. <laughs> She's also been in EcoBank since she finished. Oh, really? So we, we work at the same place. I'm at <laughs> Bella, she's at EcoBank. There's nothing else. <laughs> we haven't gone anywhere else before. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. But, um, you know, uh, uh, your, your name was thrown out in social media uh, when, when, when uh, His Excellency in order took over as possible, you know, <laughs> kinds of positions you'll be holding. I think you were in defense once. I, 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 you I, don't I, even remember. I've, I've lost track of it. I've been everywhere and, and nowhere. And, and yeah. nobody's listening to me or, no. or the person to make the appointment. You know. So say His Excellency calls you. Because I, 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 he, he, if he's looking out for the best in Ghana, I can almost oh. bet that somewhere along the line, if he hasn't called already, he will call. His Excellency. I'm, I'm Has he free, called? I, um, you know, it's very difficult to answer that question. <laughs> you know, it could be yes or no. Let, but let me be blunt with you. Yeah. Um, since um, he, he won the election, we met 30 seconds. Wow. And that's it. Really? So a lot of the new stories around, I, had, I have a good laugh. I'm sure he has a good laugh. <laughs> you know, we met for 30 seconds. And that was it. I've, Look, I've never been to a white, uh, the flat staff house. I don't know what, how the place looks like. If, I, if I'm driving, I don't know which gate to be. I might drive to the front gate and say, <laughs> and honk and say, open, they, before they show me which gate. I've never been, to a, I've never been there. Hmm. I've been to his house like once or twice. 30 seconds. He said, I, 
I said, okay, uh, I'll, we'll speak later. And that was it. Uh, they say he calls you. Which, which, <laughs> he should. No, no. Oh. You're excellent. Uh, if you're watching, I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> say he calls you, and he says, okay, man, we, are, we, are, we want to change things. Uh, so help us change things. What do you want to do? What, what would you do? I, I would, I'd, like, I'd like to do what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I'd like to be able to speak my mind. To him, if he asks for my view, if I, you know me, even if he doesn't ask, I'll still you tell him. I'll still tell him anyway. <laughs> um, if we speak, I will listen. I will think about it, and I will take a decision. Um, that decision would consider, would of course consider Ghana, but it will also consider my family, mm. absolutely. Mm. Um, and then we'll see what will happen. Right now, it, I mean, if I said, I say, what am I going to say? How can I say that? Oh, if the president calls me, I'm going to say no. Or if the president yeah, calls me, I'm going to say yeah. yes. That's presumptive. That's, that's, yeah. that's feeling to me. You know, it, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. But I'm pretty certain that he has enough talents around him. Uh, can to never do... get more. Oh, but what is about too many cooks spoiling yeah. the broth? Okay, the, too many cooks spoil the broth, but, but too much meat doesn't spoil the soup. Version. But like, all I'll say is that, of course, if the president of your country calls you, you've got to go, you have to listen, yeah. and then you have to take a decision, which is in the best interest of, you know. So we'll look, we'll look at it then. But right now, I'm, I have too much on my plate, mm, mm. Uh, way too much, you know. I couldn't yeah. make it at the time we said because I have to be called to do this and the other. And running a firm that has grown by yeah. leaps and bounds. We're, what, yeah. they're about, we're close to 90 people working in that place. Yeah. You just go up and leave and, and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. there'll be things to think about. But for now, thankfully he hasn't called. So I'm enjoying my For life. now. For, for uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I, I, I don't think he will. I don't think he will. You don't think he will? Nah. Well, I'm sure he will. And then what, folks, when I come here, I say, yeah, friend, no, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the whole girl to be my witness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have done so many things. And I, you do music. Back in the day, there was the Joyful Way Singers. Yeah, I these, still, these kids probably. They I, I probably, still do. I still, still do, do joy, Joyful Way, but once a year. Oh, really? Or, or when they have a recording project, they might say, and you know, I, I don't know whether it's a term of endearment, but they call me Grandpa. Oh, I think with my gray hair, I'm beginning to look like Grandpa. And so, Grandpa, can you come play a couple of tracks? So, on the last yeah. recent album, I played on two of the songs. I, I might write a song or two for them still. Yeah. And then, when they have their Boxing Day program, I go and play the guitar. Okay. Uh, but that's all there is with, with mm. them. I, I, I'm more on the background helping to run things. Mm -hmm. um, look, but music also happened to me accidentally. And it's the same Windy Ridge experience. There was, a, there, was a, there was a family, they were Drew Brothers, and they played the organ. And it was the organ that needed pumping, air pumping to play. Yeah, and but there was this energetic kid around who had nothing <laughs> to do. So when they're playing, I pump for them as they play. <laughs> and I think one of them taught me in Kosi Sikilele Africa in notes really? in, on F sharp. And that's how, that was my first introduction to equipment. So I've never been to formal music school. Mm -hmm. I used to play by ear. I taught myself how to read. And um, so I still play the hymns and stuff, but it's difficult to read and play. So I, so like, for instance, I still play the hymn at church, but I get a text of the hymn the night okay. before. Okay. And the morning before I go, I sit behind the piano and, <laughs> you know, that goes slowly. Oh, this one, I know it. Then I jazz it up and go and play it. Oh, and, wow. And that's it. <laughs> and, and actually, when I, when I invited you, I told him that you have to play, you have to play for me on this show. So on, that on, on, on condition that you sing. Well, I, hear, I hear you have a fantastic voice. Who lied? Who lied? You don't believe me. You should have an album or two. Who lied, man? Oh, but I mean, when, when you had your radio show, you had a radio show. Yeah. Five FM, you had it. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't sing. Oh, are you sure? That, but but you, you hummed along the music. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but I, I'll tell you, there are some people who have very terrible voices on radio. My very good friend, Kwame Sifaka, I've been begging him never to sing on radio. Not to sing. When I say, he said I should teach him how to sing. But I, I, I'm, maybe today I'll say, Kwame, you are unteachable. <laughs> Why your voice is, you can't correct it. You can't correct it. You, let, the, let the tracks play by themselves. And still sing. Fact, when, when he whistles, it's worse. <laughs> He's so off key, he's not funny. He's about three tones off key. <laughs> so, yeah, Kwame, you've been asking me why I don't teach you how to sing. Today I've said it on KSN's program. Sorry. You are, you are, you are irredeemable. <laughs> 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 I, I'm just going to you. But, of course, I want to hear a little bit of your music. But uh, your, your family and hmm. kids, wife? I have, I have yeah, I have, this, the, this, the, I have three kids. I, 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 I think my, all my beds have flown the nest too early. Maybe because I... Did everything too early in life. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike, I have three kids. My eldest daughter, Mabna, she's graduating 
in uni from uni this May. Okay. My son, Papa Kuyuku, is in second year uni. My last baby, um, Ohima, is in what we might call have called lower six, but now called IB1. And so they are in boarding school. So they are all out of the house. And then my wife is also out of the house. <laughs> She's um, uh, uh, dear dear Echo Bank has shipped her off to Gambia. Where she so where she is managing director. Okay. So I live in my house alone. Oh, you do. So my my equipment and my yep. instruments <laughs> and my dogs are my company. <laughs> you know. So yeah, that that that's a family. Everybody's away, but we stay very much in touch. Um, my my wife is um, she she gets us to meet and pray, but we do it on. Uh, this is very interesting. Because my daughter is in the U.S., my son is in the U.K., my other daughter is in, um, is in Tema. Mm -hmm. And so just about an hour away, but in Bodum Square, my wife is in Gambia. So we are in like four, four countries. And so she imposed that, okay, 10 p.m. Sunday, we are praying. And so everybody comes here. And guess how, how we do the prayer? Skype? Uh, no, Skype and Bo. It is uh, <laughs> Facebook chat. So we have a family chat. So she gives the topic, and then we all type our prayers. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gives the next topic. And then, and then, then I say, oh, him, I pray. Then I say, okay, this topic, five or ten. Then we have a conversation together. <laughs> wow. We are always conversing on that. On that on, wow. We have a couple of platforms. Wow. So we stay in touch by internet. <laughs> you know? The funniest thing was the time, the time we were all in Ghana, and everybody, we were all in the room. We realized that we were still chatting the same way. Say, hey, guys, look, we are, can we talk? Because we are with each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so, so everybody's away, but we are fiercely in touch. Wow, you know, we, are, we are on almost a mm -hmm. daily basis. Mm -hmm. She used to say to them, okay, everybody, room cleaning time. You're sitting in Gambia. There's somebody yes. in Massachusetts. There's somebody in Newcastle. She says, room cleaning time. Take a picture of your room when you're done and send it to me. <laughs> then I'll send it back there. Baby, take a clean picture one day. Take like six clean pictures. Whenever she asks, give them one. Yes, yes. <laughs> give them one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they... they it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. Interesting. But at least my daughter is graduating this year, so I'm really hoping that mm -hmm. I'll come home with her in May when we go for the graduation. Fantastic. I can have, I can have somebody else be talking with. Be talking with, uh, yeah. The problem with her is that she's, a, she's as permanent in my room as any of the furniture. Oh, really? She doesn't leave my room. Even when I'm at work, she's my room. Oh, when I come, yeah. she's my room. When I'm going to sleep, she's my room. When I wake up, she's sitting there. She's always in my room. I'm like, Mabna. Get a life. Get out of my room. But no, she's always sitting in my room. So I'll be glad to have her back sitting in the couch while I'm in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands together, man. So that's about my family. Oh, fantastic. Family. Fantastic. Loving family. Well, yeah. And, uh, but they're, they're grown now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm only 49. And I, my last kid is 17. Wow. So wow. I, I got married early. Mm -hmm. 26. 26. Yeah. 10, so 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. You don't waste time on anything. Have the three kids. Two years difference in everybody. Maybe I'm taped at home. <laughs> one, two years, one, two years, one. Done. Deal. Move on with life. Thanks a lot, man. So, so, so you're, going to, you're going to play a piano for us. And yes, but the agreement was that you would sing. So, if I play, you sing. <laughs> Ghanaians are going to. Look, you're, 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 Ghanaians, you must hear this man sing. If you don't weep, you will laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. It's going to be so bad that you weep. In case you're not weeping there, you have the strength to laugh at me. But we'll see you soon. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, you are weeping or laughing. We'll be right back. Stay cognizant for a recrudescence of gratuitous conviviality and merriment.